Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Three Chord Dave here to talk about Epiphones. They've brought out three new guitars, but we don't know why. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Three Chord Dave, and we're talking about Epiphones and their three newest guitars, because it's weird what they're doing. It's weird. Anyway, we are on YouTube, so I am obligated to ask you to hit that like button and the subscribe button. That would be super cool. Come along to Three Chord Dave Live every Saturday and talk about guitars and things, and then see what happens to Glenn this week. It's usually fun. Um, we are also on YouTube, so make sure you hit the comment section and stuff like that. Do all those things. Uh, links in the description for things that'll help support the channel. In other words, send money this way, which is always appreciated. Uh, you can buy t-shirts and things like that as well with, uh, you know, my face on them, which is, I don't, well, I don't know why, but there you go. Um, and then finally, if you wanted to watch this video yesterday, you can just click the link for Patreon, and then you'll watch all the videos 24 hours early. Unless, of course, you're on Patreon right now, in which case, watch it today. So now, let's talk about Epiphones. They brought out three new guitars yesterday, and I can't figure out exactly why, because as far as I can tell, all of these models were already existing, and they didn't need to bring them out again. But they have, they're making it like, oh, we brought out three new models. They didn't, but it's weird. So let's start off with the Casino. Yes, the Epiphone Casino has come out again for the five billionth time since 1961. This time they got a few of the details a little bit more correct, which is nice to see them actually making an effort to get the details correct. So, uh, two colors came out in all of these guitars. Um, well, slightly different, but in the Casino you have a natural and a vintage sunburst. Now the thing is the natural is very much uh, reminiscent of John Lennon's uh, Epiphone Casino. Uh, this time they managed to actually get the uh, fret inlays the right way around, which is very good because they didn't on the ones that are $3,000, but there you go, that's a whole other thing. Uh, which we won't get into because the last time I brought it up, people just savaged me in the comments. So uh, we'll say nothing about having phones being made in America, all that. Um, mahogany body, no not mahogany body, mahogany neck, maple body uh, construction. Uh, poly poly finish, polyurethane finish as you'd expect because it's an Epiphone. Slim Taper 60C neck on all of these guitars by the way. Vintage Deluxe Epiphone tuners. Pro P90 single coil pickups. Now the thing is, those are the very same Pro P90 single coil pickups that are in the cheapest version of the casino that you can buy. Which you can buy today for 444 euros on Thoman.com. So yeah, not like they've put in fancy pickups or anything like that. Anyway, rolling on with the specs then. Two volume, two tone, a good quality gig bag is what they're describing as. It looks like an Epi Light case to me. Um, natural sunburst, Indian Laurel fretboards, well, I should have said that. Now, uh, in terms of pricing, as I said, 444, you can get the Olive Drab uh, Casino and the faded finish, which actually looks really, really nice from Tolman. Um, but these ones come in at $699 in the United States of dollars. Uh, lefties and righties, by the way, should have mentioned that for all of these guitars, I believe. Uh, now, I've been asked by some viewers to add the taxes onto the American prices, which took me a little while to figure out how to do. And of course, each state is different. So I'm not gonna sit here giving you 50 different prices. So the easiest for me was to put in an address in Colorado, which I did. Uh, $756 after tax and with free shipping is what that casino would cost you. Now, I wasn't gonna make this purchase anyway, but if I wanted to, I wouldn't have been able to because they sold out as I was online at a certain retailer who was not Sweetwater, not at all. Totally not Sweetwater. Anyway, rolling on. The Broadway is the next one to come back. Now, this is an interesting one a little bit because there is a Broadway, but I think it's, it might be retailer specific. Uh, in the US. I don't think they're actually in Europe, but there are some places, you can pick up an Epiphone Broadway. They're, they haven't been out of production for very long if they are out of production. Maple body, spruce top, slim taper 60s, C neck again, Indian laurel, mother of pearl block inlay with an abalone V, uh, Wilkinson tuners. Interesting. Um, Epiphone Alnico Classic Pro Humbuckers, two volume, two tone, a three way. The frequenciator, frequenciator, frequenciator. The thing is a split trapeze tailpiece. I hate saying that word. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Um, these are described as premium arch top uh, hollow bodies, which they, which they are. And uh, coming to gig bag as well, very similar 
to the EpiLite case. $999 before tax, $1,081 after tax if you live in Colorado. And um, what's weird is, so these are showing up, the casino doesn't show up on Thoman.com, so I can't give you a euros price. But I can give you one for the Broadway, which is 1,150 euros. Now, those numbers don't add up, so I don't know what's happening here, why it's more expensive, because it's quite expensive in comparison. The uh, 1,150 euros comes in at $1,237. So uh, you're talking a good bit more, and then uh, the, what's, what is it, $1,081, um, that works out at roughly 1,000 euros. So it's quite a bit more in euros uh, for those guitars. Now, as I said, those are available in two colors. Now, it's not natural, this one, oh, it's a red wine, and then the vintage sunburst. So they're getting rid of loads of vintage sunburst. It's like everything's in vintage sunburst, and uh, red wine. So interesting take from them, I'm not really sure if there's a huge clamor for Broadways, I'm sure there is. People will like them, especially if they're into their old jazzy stuff. Uh, but yeah, not super exciting for me, but interesting, because I think it's the one that's maybe out of production at the moment, but not quite. Anyway, then we've got the Sheraton. Now the Sheraton is totally not out of production. I don't know why they're doing this, but here we go, we got another one. <laughs> it's an all maple body mahogany neck. Uh, v block inlay, so again, same block inlays with the V. Abalone uh, V on Mother of Pearl. Um, headphones, mini Pro Bookers. Epiphone, you've got mini Pro Bookers. Make an Epiphone, let's pull the looks, please. Just do it, I, I can't tell you how much I want them to do that. Anyway, the Sheraton has a Mother of Pearl, not a Mother of Pearl, a Maple uh, Center Block. Mother of Pearl Center Block would not be much good. Uh, <laughs> it is a Maple Center Block an Epilite case again. These ones come in at $899 with that making $972 in uh, after tax in Colorado. And if you're in Europe, taxes and everything included is 1,050 euros. So again, more expensive in Europe, which is, I, I don't get it, but anyway, there we go. Uh, so what's the point of these guitars? Cause they all pretty much had recent releases or were available Anyway, it seems all they've done is put the prices up, change the colors that they're available in, and added a gig bag. But like, in the case of the casino, uh, it's like $250 more expensive. Uh, that's a lot more for a gig bag. Especially since they brought out, Gibson brought out the protector cases for like about 200 and something last week or this week as well. So, so yeah, it's a little bit strange to me. The Broadway, I think, is the only one that I'd be like, oh, that's cool because at least they're in the collection now, and I presume these are all going to be core models and kept in the lineup. Uh, the Sheraton, I mean, it's nice that they're putting them out with the uh, era correct. It's got the Tree of Life thing on the headstock and all that sort of crack. But I still don't get why those three guitars came out yesterday. Why they were just... Why? Uh, it just seems like they've brought out more expensive things. And if you're in Europe, Epiphones that are not signature models now cost over a thousand um, euros, which is a... It's a point they need to. We need to talk about, and we have talked about many a time on this channel. Over a thousand in any currency is a is a big barrier, and they've crossed it now with just regular models. Um, and in the U.S., of course, with the Broadway, uh, you're paying over a thousand after tax. So, so yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what's going on. Next week you got Dave Mustaine's. We'll see how expensive those are. As I said on Three Chord Dave Live this week, uh, we're expecting them to be $13.99 for the Epiphones and $12.99 for the Kramers. So prices for Epiphones is a whole thing. We probably need to uh, just brace ourselves. It's only gonna get worse. Anyway, what I want you to do is let me know if you think these casinos are cool. I do like the casino. I'm just, you know, and it is the cheapest of these three, but. Let me know what you think of the casino, the new casino, I guess, uh, the Broadway and the Sheraton. Uh, and why wouldn't you just buy an Emily Wolf Sheraton uh, if you wanted one? I suppose it's a different bridge, it's a different tail, or, you know, it's a whole different setup, that one. But hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, like the video and stuff like that. I'll be back with another guitar related video very soon, but until then, take care.